Transferring files within the same machine or over the network, whether for backups, sync, or migration, needs the right tool. Xcopy and Robocopy handle it all. One's simple, the other's a powerhouse, but their functionalities are different. Let's break down what they do, where they shine, and which one makes the most sense for your needs. Xcopy, pros, user-friendly with a simple learning curve, suitable for quick personal tasks. Cons, may fail with file paths and names exceeding 254 characters. Cannot copy open files due to lack of support for volume shadow copy services. Does not copy all file attributes, such as timestamps or security information. Lacks automatic retry on errors and cannot resume interrupted copying processes. Robocopy, pros, designed for complex copy-paste requirements making it ideal for large-scale operations. Supports multi-threading, allowing better performance with multiple CPU processors, even for large files and directories. Faster alternative in most cases with a retry option on errors. Cons, steeper learning curve due to its extensive features and command line options. Lack of a graphical user interface since the deprecation of RoboCopy interface, requiring users to operate through the command prompt. Potential risk of unintentionally deleting files or transferring unwanted data if not used carefully. Copying using xcopy command, type xcopy, then source, destination, then add options. S, copy directories, subdirectories, and the file contained in them except for empty ones. I, by default, running this option will force xcopy to assume that the destination is a directory. If you don't use it and you want to copy to a non-existent destination, the I command will prompt you to enter whether the destination is a file or directory. C, continue copy if an error crops up. E, copy subdirectories including the empty ones. H, copy files with hidden and system file attributes. Copying using robocopy commands. Type robocopy then source, destination and add any options. S, Copy subdirectories and exclude empty ones. XO, exclude older files and usually done with the parameter XC, exclude change files. XN, exclude newer files. MIR, mirror a directory tree. SL, copy symbolic links as links instead of as the link targets. SEC, copy files with security, which is equivalent to copy dats. FAT, create destination files using 8.3 FAT files, names only. Create Create directory tree and zero length files only. Use xcopy if you need basic file transfers without complex requirements. Small scale data copying within the same drive or network. Script integration for automation with batch files. You have limited system resources and need a lightweight solution. Use robocopy if handling large scale data transfers across drives or network shares. Backup and disaster recovery with synchronization and error handling need mirroring to keep identical copies in different locations, want efficient copying that transfers only change files, when to avoid xcopy and robocopy in cross-platform transfers, for locked files, in daylight saving time, in non-NTFS file systems, while copying a single file, for advanced access or other utilities. Some backup strategies would be automate backups, incremental backups, detailed logging and reports, Disaster recovery. With this, you have a good understanding of both xcopy and robocopy. Check the description for a detailed blog. See you in the next one.